Hello everyone, it's Spursrail96 here, and welcome to another Train Sim World 3 roadmap video. Today, Dovetail Games have put out the latest update that concerns the roadmap. So, let's take a look at the details. Uh, firstly, Dovetail have announced what their new modern United Kingdom route will be, and that route in question is set in the north of England. It's called the Glossop Line. It will go from Manchester Piccadilly to Hatfield and Glossop. According to Dovetail, this will be a fantastic self-contained and fully complete route travelling into a modern modern day Manchester. Formerly part of the Woodhead line before it closed in the British World era, it also features for the first time in Train Sim World a unique operation with a triangle junction where you change track ends at Glossop to head to Hatfield. Another first in Train Sim World is the debut of the brand Northern, which will be coming with the BR Class 323, which has been updated appropriately for this Glossop line route. Um, that's all the details have released. There's been no other word from Dovetail that regards services, scenarios, additional rolling stock for the timetable, maybe new uh, rolling stock that's coming with the, uh, the gloss up line and I personally don't know much about this route but for those of you that maybe do feel free to let me know in the comments below as well as your thoughts on the um, gloss up line that is coming to train sim world one other thing that Dovetail has added that's brand spanking new to the roadmap is a new German locomotive uh, more details will be available in the future as Dovetail move closer to release now, the biggest thing that has been added to this roadmap, which is personally for me, certainly the thing I'm looking forward to, I tell you, the North East Corridor, New York Trenton route, rightfully got a load of backlash um, because of its crappy timetable. And Dovetail has finally heard our feedback loud and clear that we want more services. And that's what we're going to get. We're going to get a new updated timetable with way more services. And I'm just so pleased that that's finally going to happen. It should have, you know, we shouldn't even have this problem. You know, we should have had this full working timetable at the start of release. But according to Dovetail, they said that they underestimated the complexities of the signaling system with the route. And that led them to be able to spend less time than they would have liked on the timetable. So whilst the team have been beavering away in the background working on this updated timetable, Dovetail wanted work to have progressed to a certain point before sharing it with us and putting it on the roadmap. Uh, Dovetail spoke to their timetable magician Joe about the work that's been undertaken so far. Fasten your seatbelts, there's going to be some numbers here. <sighs> right, this timetable is based on the real New Jersey Transit timetable and Amtrak timetables of 2019. Dovetail have also been lucky to access the diagrams of New Jersey Transit that detail which train equipment train equipment does each group services. This level of detail is like the uh, BR Class 387 and the BR Class 395 timetables on the Brighton Mainline and Southeastern High Speed, albeit Dovetail do not have all the correct rolling stock. If a train uh, Dovetail doesn't have is running a service, it simply gets added as a ALP-46 plus MLS, whatever that means. Uh, anyway, at release, uh, we had the full Amtrak timetable, including again services we do not have the correct coaches for. Uh, Amtrak Acela Express trains will stop at Trenton for the sake of those being playable, otherwise more than half would just be between New York Penn and Newark Airport. These also include virtual destinations to many places beyond Trenton and New York Penn, as well as named trains displayed in the passenger information systems. For New Jersey Transit, uh, we had 120 services, which is not the full timetable, and most, which, uh, most of which were led by the cab car. This was a mix, but not all, of trains 31XX, 32, 35, 37, 38, 39, and 6XXX. All the deadheads to uh, Sunnyside Yard were playable, including any of the 6XXX uh, servers, which gave uh, quite a uh, bad balance between actual passenger services and Sunnyside Yard deadhead duties. However, timetable uh, that Dovetail is working on looks as of right now, they once again have the full Amtrak and Acela timetables as with release, uh, albeit these services may be slightly different now, with more delays, etc., due to the increased New Jersey Transit traffic. There will be a full electric New Jersey uh, Transit timetable. 
This will include all of the 31 XX, 32, 35, 37, 38, 39 and 6 XXX train numbers that are electric, as well as all Hoboken trains that are electric equipment. This will not include, must state, that these this updated New Jersey Transit timetable will not include the Arrow Free Princeton Junction to Princeton, AI or diesel equipment out of New York Penn to Hoboken Terminal, and no AI traffic at Secaucus Junction. With all of the above, this is apparently going to be the largest United States timetable in the history of train sim world. The team are looking at support for additional AI traffic or freight rolling stock in the yards, but this work is not started at this stage. Let's get on to some Steam side of things. Uh, to coincide with the release of Nick of this week's, I should say. Um, it is this week, isn't it? Peak Forest? Yeah, it does release this week. Um, Dovetail will also be addressing some of our feedback for the very first Steam Moot and Train Sim World, Spirit of Steam, which goes from, of course, Liverpool to Crew, coming in a pre-release patch update. Dovetail will aim for this to be released later this week. Some of the current lists, subject to thumbs up by the testing team, include physics updates to the 8F and Jubilee, which I'll explain later, um, a Jubilee introduction and a couple of scenarios should now be completable, derailments when coupling two wagons in Edge Hill should be fixed, derailments when going up a steep bank near Edge Hill signal box should be fixed, a uh, gold medal now achievable on... Um, a Bonvine blockage scenario, reduction in volume of safety valves, AI locomotives causing spads, fixed headlights not showing on AI jubilees, albeit the tail lights is something that Dovetail will have to investigate later, um, and fixed scenario planner formations so that loaded wagons do, don't face empty wagons. All of the physics improvements will be ported not just to Spirit of Steam, but the West Cornwall Local Steam Rail Tour, and a day one patch update for the Peak Forest Railway. Dovetail is also currently investigating what causes the firemen to intermittently vanish. They believe they have a fix, but as it is a core game improvement, it will require more rigorous testing before release. Um, note manual firing is still in the process of being scoped out, so it will not be part of the update. Dovetail is also investigating intermittent running sounds for AI locomotives, but it's unlikely these will come with this update. Um, a little more detail on the Spirit of Steam improvements, um, the physics side of things. Uh, Dovetail have recalculated the valve gearing system events using the new engineering features that are now available to them. Previously, the valve gear system opened instantly. Now, Dovetail track both the start of opening and the end of opening separately. Same for closing. Uh, this changes the player performance quite dramatically. You get less steam through the valves as they open less for most of their travel, particularly at low cutoff. This means that you tend to drive with a higher cutoff percentage. Um, so, for example, what you could pull at 20% cutoff before, you now might need 30% to achieve it. Uh, it also changes the drafting on the fire, particularly at low speeds. The steam flow is smoother and occurs over a longer time, meaning you can now achieve a more sustained performance at low speed. Um, one other thing that Dovetail quickly squeaked into this roadmap that concerns one of their later um, uh, loco bundles is that they have added a new scenario to uh, the German, was it the ICE trains, little livery pack as part of the... Um, uh, loco add-on bundle uh, and they've also made some changes to the BNSF ES44C4 in particular they've updated the trailer designs to be more prototypical of American trailers and adding more scenario planner formations using truck trailers and center beams out uh, will hopefully be in a patch soon uh, full patch notes will be available upon release uh, they've also uh, once again focusing on the BNS F, uh, ES44C4 for timetable for these new, you know, center beams and trailer trucks should be integrated into the timetable very, very soon. Um, and finally, let's get on to uh, the Thameslink Class 700. Um, not much news to report on it, but uh, apparently Dovetail have a little picture here of the interior of the cab for you to uh, wheat your whistles with, apparently. Um, as far as core improvements, uh, Dovetail is currently testing Xbox add-ons manager. 
They've been experiencing some crashing issues with the current build, so the engineering team will be taking another look at it. Once the Xbox is out, they will turn their attention to PC platforms. Um, Peninsula Corridor and Oakville's uh, subdivision and Baby Bullet services, there's nothing to report from the last month's roadmap. But as soon as one of the uh, UI team become available, they will investigate. Um, as far as uh, the third party developer updates, uh, in particular Skyhook Games, they have re uh, released some details that concerns a big patch that they're going to be releasing for the Midland mainline. These will include expanding the timetable per community feedback. That's going to be interesting. A uh, whole new freight services added to the route, major route resignaling to address issues and enhance realism, numerous environment fixes and updates, station updates to add additional realism, presume some branding, uh, multiple bridges remodeled from scratch to reflect their real world counterparts, city updates to add in more bespoke buildings, the velodrome, Pride Park, and many new points of interest. Uh, significantly uh, significant functionality updates to the BR Class 158, multiple performance updates, re adding the removed freight service and the railhead treatment train southeastern high speed services, address the issues where NPCs get stuck in the doorway, uh, updated vehicle coupling and logic, and addressing issues with the HST set, including system functionality and unit numbers. Uh, we, they will provide more information to us when these improvements are completed and ready for release. Now, Just Trains, many of you know that they have a proven uh, track record, pun intended, with, uh, with uh, you know, very detailed, accurate, high quality and great, routing, great looking routes for uh, Train Simulator Classic. And those same qualities are coming brilliantly alive with their first route for Train Sim World, apparently. The Just Trains team are working very hard and are solely dedicated on this, which will be their third, first ever route for train sim world uh, building any routes has very many individual parts that need to be brought together but to recap so far they've completed 26 miles of scenery with around, with around 20 miles left to go uh, they are pleased to say that their project is half complete their environment artists are busy bringing the virtual world to life and their team of asset builders are creating superb realistic looking objects such as signal boxes distinctive buildings churches as well as the many stations ranging from a simple platform to end of route termini that we will be able to stop at when driving the route apparently progress on the train that will be coming with the route is coming along at a pace and is looking excellent all of this will ensure that our driving experience has the correct look and feel and will provide with a great sense of immersion apparently so uh, yeah it sounds like just trains the route is coming along very very nicely and uh, well hopefully and probably will be an absolute cracker and uh, yeah there we are that pretty much concludes this roadmap i imagine there are some other details that um, are in the roadmap i just haven't been bothered to say to you otherwise this roadmap will end up being two hours long or however long it currently is um but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you did enjoy then make sure to hit the like button below and if you are watching for the first time then i would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and as always I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care.